Indonesia, widely known with its natural beauty, cultural diversity, and natural wealth, is the world's largest archipelagic country, spanning long 5,120 kilometers from eastern region to the west territory, consisting about 17,499 islands. Indonesia coastline measures approximately 81,000 kilometers the second longest coastline in the world. The country region is dominated with two inland waters that covers up to 70% of Indonesian area. As a maritime country, Indonesia faces various challenges, one of which is maritime infrastructure management. The development of maritime connectivity is carried out in many ways to increase national and international competitiveness. This strategy will support the availability of goods, products, and services needed by the community across the nation. The country's geographical topology that mostly dominated with sea region need to be strengthened. And by the development of maritime facilities and infrastructure, the economic activity which rely on the supply chain connectivity will be accelerated and well stimulated. Ship is one of the best and most suitable transportation means to support Indonesian islands' connectivity. Thanks to its sheer size, ships are capable of transporting any kind of goods and passengers in large number. For this reason, a fast, efficient, and safe naval fleet are needed to be operated in various character of Indonesian waterways due to the unpredictability of weather and waves conditions in different places that might be encountered. In order to support the Indonesian island connectivity, the Agency for the Assessment and Application of Technology BPPT, through the Indonesian Hydrodynamics Laboratory IHL, located in Surabaya, Indonesia, has a world-class facility which supports hydrodynamics model test, one of which is Maneuvering an Ocean Basin Facility, MOB, that is divided into basin, shallow and deep. Through these facilities, 500 mm waves in any shape periods and direction can be generated to perform sea keeping test, captive test, or free running test. The depth of IHL deep basin measures at 2.5 meters and equipped with 79 hand flaps of grip generating system. Right behind the deep basin, the separated shallow basin system has an independent wave generator consisting of 73 flaps with 1.25 meters depth. Both of deep and shallow basins are supported by towing carriage that are capable of advancing until 2 meters per second. The sea keeping and maneuvering tasks provide ship motion and maneuvering characteristics. Those data will represent full scale condition and will be used to verify ship's performance in relevant wave conditions. Based on the data, ship's owner and operator will be well guided to understand their vessel handling characteristic. That information will improve seaworthiness and safety of any vessel that have been tested. <laughs>